If I was to start a business... What's that? I've started a business. It's called Behind the Biscuit. And my business started going really well. Hmm. I'll take 200. Really? I could decide to take it up a notch. I think I need to create 10 new flavours and open a series of shops. One of the ways I could get the money to make my business bigger and better is by selling shares. Shares are like little pieces of a company that people can buy. Millions of shares are bought and sold every weekday all around the world in what's called a share market or stock market. It's not just entrepreneurial bakers that can sell shares, all sorts of different companies can. On Australia's stock market, some of the biggest are companies you've probably heard of, like ANZ, Telstra, Woolworths, Qantas, PHP and AGL. So we know companies sell shares to raise money, but why do people buy shares? You told me I had to, and that I would make lots of money. Oh. Um, well, yeah, exactly. It's about money. Shares are sold individually. For example, one share in my biscuit business might cost you $1. So if you bought 10 shares, they would cost you $10. But if my business boomed, those shares might then go up in value to, say, $2 each. That means your 10 shares are now worth double what you paid for them. But to actually get that money, you'd have to sell your shares to someone else on the stock market. As an average person who's bought some shares in a company, also known as a shareholder, you can be entitled to have a say in some of the big things happening in that company. Now, I was thinking we should have a biscuit and put it inside a biscuit, like biscuitception. Which is one of the reasons companies like to keep their shareholders happy. Free biscuits? Ooh. But shares, like people, can be fickle things. Their value can go up and down all the time, depending on how popular they are, how the economy's going, or how much spare cash people have to spend on things like biscuits. But mostly, the price of shares really comes down to how people feel about a company and its future. Grab a hair? That's why when you hear about a company caught up in a scandal, you might also hear about their shares dropping in value. It's something that happened to one of the biggest, richest companies in the world recently, Facebook. Its shares are usually worth a lot, but recently they took a big dive in just one day. All up, the company's shares lost $160 billion in value. Some reckon the drop in share prices might have something to do with a pretty recent scandal, or two. This was a major breach of trust, and and I'm really sorry that this happened. It could also be because Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg said the site won't be making quite so much money in the future. Despite the big loss, Facebook's still worth billions of dollars and there's always the chance it'll recover from here. Unfortunately, some businesses never get that chance. No more biscuit business then. Yeah, no. The shareholders voted to fire me. I'm making cupcakes now, though.